For those of you who do not have a electronics background, uh, let me explain what I'm trying to do. I am trying to increase the cooling capacity on my motorcycle. Um, even with my cooling system operating at 100%, I'm noticing that both the oil cooler and the radiator needs a little bit more assistance. Now there are several ways that I thought up that could do this. One of the ways was to place a capacitor um, in line with the internal cooling fan. By putting a capacitor in line, they call it a tank circuit. And, uh, and basically what that tank circuit's going to do is it's going to keep the cooling fan on the radiator on a little bit longer maybe about two minutes to five minutes depending on your your circuit um, that means that when I turn off the ignition and walk inside the house the fan keeps on going however it's not effective I've had I've had a I've had a motorcycle that had this type of uh, I guess trick cooling system on it before it doesn't really do any good the next thing I thought about was an inexpensive way to move the air because in a computer um, what, what, caught, what, what allows a computer to cool is a movement of air and so I'm going to show you some, 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 some little tricks. This right here is a 140 millimeter fan. It's off a of power supply and the power supply I simply just found in the trash. Okay, I'll be honest, I did not go dumpster diving, so, you know. But if you know somebody is throwing away a power supply, grab it, because there's some good parts in there, especially the capacitors, exactly. This here is a 120, and these are a little bit more fancier. Uh, they've got LEDs on them. And this right here is a little tiny jump box I got for, I think, 15, 20 bucks at Walmart on, on clearance and um, I've been very happy with it. Um, in addition to the cooling fans there, there are a couple other things out there inexpensive uh, that you you may want to incorporate into your own you know however you want to do it your own little little gadget to deal with some of the heat problems because heat in an engine is extremely deadly. It is the number one killer of any engine, heat. And if you're like me who lives in Florida or the south, you got a lot of heat, especially during the winters, uh, excuse me, the summers. And uh, you have to combat that somehow. Uh, this here is a fan controller. So for about $1.50, um, it's a PCI slot. Uh, essentially what it does is it controls the speed of the fan. Now if you remember Thermaltake, Thermaltake had um, their Thermaltake had processor CPU fans that operated on three cooling fan speeds, 6,000 RPM being the fastest and I mean this was like a helicopter. I mean this sucker when it turned on you could hear it in the other room. But uh, this is something that also uh, has been around for a while. They're fairly inexpensive. They control these cooling fans. These are 120 and 140. They call them case fans, whatever. This one has LEDs on them. Uh, this one is for the 140. It's a steel grate. It's a very attractive looking steel grate. But it's to allow the, you to uh, kind of put it on the outside like that so that um, you know, you can you can protect things from flying into the fan. Now, what I've done is I cut out a template and I've taped it off. And I'm going to get a rotary cutting tool with diamond uh, diamond cutters, and I'm going to cut that little square out so that I can bolt it in there with the steel grate with the little grate here. Um, I bought the LED ones for my other motorcycle, and um, let me turn back to what I was explaining about the control of fan. This is what you call a potentiometer. In some cases, if you ever take, take an electronics class, um, they also call it a variable resistor. I like the potentiometer 
but variable resistor or um, you know dimmer it's also a dimmer uh, anything that controls the 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 input or the output of an electronic device is going to be considered a variable resistor usually they're used on uh, amplification or audio devices to control either the amplification or the volume of that device and um, we could go into detail about um, about uh, you know the uh, the various <laughs> electronics I mean I could I, would, I could go on for months on end about electronics here so um, to, to conclude this is this is basically how I am hoping to give a uh, to, 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 to add to the bike so that I can get the temperature down when needed on very hot days uh, especially if I'm going to the beach or I'm going surfing or something so let me show you um, how this is set up well first of all computer fans are 12 volts so you know um, anything that 12 volts will hook into a jump box if you don't have a jump box you may want to get it they're very handy otherwise you're gonna need a car battery or motorcycle battery they're on tricklers back there and um, you could also use a 18 volt or 12 volt uh, portable battery like on the hand tools there's one right there um, th those things will, will will power these things but um, you could also rig up your own little device so that you can tr control the the amperage and the output uh, that's a little bit elaborate but um, it's not impossible so if you want to see what they look like I'll go ahead and uh, give you a, a demonstration of what these fans look like uh, again one has LED lights and one just moves a lot of air and I'm gonna show you this one uh, it's, yeah this one this one's a beast you can see that now, this one has the uh, the blue LEDs but I'm gonna tell you this thing is a beast of a fan and it's just moving a lot of air there so I think that um, I'm gonna go with one on one side to blow it out the other side and I think I um because I'm feeling it on my legs also when I'm wearing shorts so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, on the blue one I have the other blue one right here I've got two of them they cost uh, I think I got those two for uh, under ten dollars maybe five dollars I don't know this one I got free but again I, you know, I mean if you want to get fancy with it um, I suggest you get the fluid bearings the fluid bearings are, are last a little longer than the than the uh, I guess the dry bearings but um, the heavy-duty fans because um, they tend to last, last the entire life of the computer so that concludes the I guess the electronics lesson here and um, and these little tricks that you can uh, you can if you're if you're like me you know having some problems with the heating or, or the cooling problems you know there I've seen several things but uh, you know you can always go with a bigger radiator if you want to yank a bigger radiator off another model similar uh, yank off another radiator and install the radiator that's another or yank off a bigger oil cooler you know you can always do that so that concludes the uh, the electronics class all right thank you here are the two LED fans in a parallel circuit now a parallel circuit means that each independently has their own circuit they're not in line or in a daisy chain uh, the way you do that is with this one it's called a Y connector um, they're fairly inexpensive and um, you know I highly recommend that you use quick connectors on everything there are several different quick connectors, um, various different ways. The quick connectors, I found out that these bladed ones are a little bit quicker, uh, excuse me, a little bit better. Uh, make sure that if you're dealing with uh, very difficult circuits, you get this one. They're called insulated. They're insulated quick connects. And uh, I've had problems in the past uh, where these are the only remedy to deal with the heat and the arcing in other words you have two very close connectors and they arc or they lightning bolt across and that's the only way to uh, to shield the arcing effect alrighty